Hey, hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how easily we can embed Docker into our Spring Boot application and how we can build and run Spring Boot application. So for this example, we are using Spring IO and uh, Docker and uh, latest version of Java that is Java 17 and Maven. So for this demonstration, I am using my blog. So blog link is provided into video description. Let's quickly have a recap on uh, recap on Docker. So basically Docker is a software platform which allows you to the build, test and deploy the application quickly. So Docker packages the software application into standard units called as containers and that have everything in the software needs that need to run including libraries, system tools, coding and runtime. So using Docker we can quickly deploy and scale the applications into any environment and know your code will run so if you don't know how to uh, download and install docker so you can refer my previous video so this link is provided in the video description also and for more information you can go to docker documentation page so now what we are going to achieve in this so we we have a spring we will develop a sample spring boot application inside that like we will package that application into jar file and we will provide one uh, docker configuration file that is docker file and by using this docker file we will uh, do the docker build and we will uh, deploy that docker build into docker image okay so agenda of this uh, session is like uh, first we will uh, go through introduction then create a java project with the spring io then create the docker image and build and run docker image okay so let's get started we need a spring boot project so go to spring dot io so here i am referring uh, spring io so you can uh, so you can either or like uh, by using id sts4 or spring toolsuit 4 also you can create the spring project so in the project section let's go to spring initializer okay so here uh, we will select the project type as a maven then language java then uh, spring boot version we will take the stable version that is 2.7.6 and here like uh, name of the application spring boot docker okay copy this okay so select packaging as a jar java version as a 17 and here we need to add some dependencies so basic dependency that is a spring web so select spring web and let's say generate the project the project is ready go to the folder so copy this into our workspace extract here okay so now go to the eclipse uh, import this pro maven project go to import projects let's see maven existing maven projects okay so we got the pom product let's say finish okay so our uh, docker project is ready let's verify the pom.xml first okay so here we are using 276 version of spring boot and 17 version of java okay and this is the uh, web starter dependency okay so now moving further like uh, let's start creating controller class so go to default control default uh, page of spring boot a spring boot docker application and declare this as a rest controller okay let's say control shift o in order to import the packages then here uh, we need one method in order to hit this rest rest endpoint so so here uh, create one rest endpoint so let's say public string <coughs> spring boot docker okay so 
and here return some string and here declare uh, this method as a at the rate kit mapping and here let's say hello docker okay let's say control shift o in order to import the packages okay so this is sample application where like uh, it will call uh, when we call this uh, sample rest endpoint so it, it should run via docker application okay so so now let's verify the name of the application so here like uh, description name spring boot docker but it will append the version also so okay so let's build this application and see how this package is getting generated so go run as maven build okay so now here it is asking for goals so first of all let's say skip test and here simply you can say clean and install or package clean package also you can do and let's say apply and run okay so it, it is create so we are packaging this application as a jar file after that like we will go to the docker step but uh, before that like uh, we want to run the docker desktop so go to start and uh, run this docker desktop okay so how to install this docker desktop so you can refer my previous video so meanwhile this maven project is running okay so our docker desktop is loading okay so our build is success let's verify how it is created the name go to project properties and go to this folder go inside this go to target here if you can see it is appended with the version also so we need a simple name so for that like uh, what we can do so go to bomb.xml and uh, let's mention the final name so here you can locate this uh, plugins and insert this plugins so we can add one configuration so write configuration okay configuration okay so here we need to add this one more tag that is called final name okay let's save it so now it will create the application uh, create the jar file with this name only okay so now uh, let's start adding the docker configuration so right click on uh, spring boot project and uh, create the file and give the file name as a docker file okay so here we just need to add some configuration for docker so go to docker hub and select the image for this so let's say we are using the lightest image so open jdk docker image java slim okay so this one is a docker image where like uh, we need the smallest image so we need the slim image so that like uh, our docker uh, image size will be a smaller one so you can see the compressed size is a 207 mb but uh, we we have to use the slim here in order to like uh, for demo purpose so write this from and this jdk version then uh, we want to run this application with the port 8080 
okay and then we need to add the target so i will tell you what it is so target name of the application what is the name of the application so we have given it into uh, this at pom.xml so copy this and say dot jar okay so this way we can add this so what it is telling so you can locate the target folder and this jar file and you can add this into docker configuration okay and uh, we have this entry point that is required for running our application okay so we need to define this as a java comma jar and you can mention here the name of the application that is name of the jar file okay okay so that's it so how we can identify uh, define this so from is a base of our image so we, we need for docker like we need the base of image so we need a sample image and uh, like that we can define into this and then we need this port number into expose and then we need this uh, target to be added into add folder like so copy this uh, jar file into uh, our docker uh, platform and then in the entry point we need java minus jar and a spring boot dockerize this jar folder okay so by this uh, entry point so we will define the command to run the our, run our application okay so just save it and try to build this application first okay so our build is success so now let's deploy this application into docker platform so go to the folder where it is uh, created this target folder yeah so we can see this uh, spring boot dot docker this short name is getting created by adding this final name okay so go to the home directory of project so copy this or not copy but uh, go to command line So let's verify if docker is installed yeah so we have docker version 20.10.21 so now just we need to build our application so so say docker build and then we need to tag our application okay minus t and then just we need to specify the name of the application or name of the jar file so copy this and just we need to mention path of the jar file so this will build our application and create the image okay so our image is created so you can see this step uh, from docker open jdk uh, slim so it is using this image and uh, this is the step where like it is created 187 mb uh, docker image along with uh, its uh, metadata so now the build is generated now let's run this build so meanwhile we can go to docker desktop so you can see this is the docker desktop so you can see refresh yeah so you can see one minute ago so this uh, spring boot docker jar is created okay so go to this type command like docker run then let's say minus p for ports so we have to give the docker port also and we have to give the application port also so we we are keeping the same port of docker and application and then we just need to paste the application jar name okay that's it just hit enter okay so he here it is saying java manager not found so what we have to do 
so here it is missing the comma okay so now we just need to rebuild our docker application okay so our building of application is finished now just run this application again okay so it is saying unable to access jar file okay so here dot jar is missing okay so let's add this dot jar command here so we will make the similar one this one and this one we will make same and just build another way okay so our build is created now let's run this yeah so our spring boot application is started running so it is starting the service so it is running on port 8080 initialization is initialization is completed okay so application is started so now let's verify it so what we can do so go to our uh, spring boot starter file and copy this endpoint hello docker and go to browser and just type http localhost colon 8080 backslash and say hello docker and enter yeah so you can see like our application is running perfectly fine so welcome to docker application by simplifying tech so this message we have provided here and that same we able to run it via docker so uh, you can find the like uh, required commands here like uh, docker build docker images and docker run if we run this container in detached mode so we can inspect it details uh, or we can uh, play with uh, this docker images by using this command like uh, inspect stop and remove remove the particular image like this and to conclude this uh, we learned how we can build the custom docker image and run the spring boot application as a docker container so you can download the source code from uh, github so link is provided here and video description and uh, for in further sessions like we are going to check uh, how we can build angular js application along with docker and then how we can build the python application how we can build spring boot plus mongodb applications so that we are going to check in a further session and also we are going to check how we can push the images to docker hub and pull the images from the docker hub so stay tuned for further sessions thanks a lot for watching